Hello everyone and welcome back to Sendix Weber channel. Apologies about the break I went on for a few days, but um, we're back. Weber's a little bit uninteresting at the moment, but yeah, we're back today with a banger upload. Back to my roots, really. Um, we're going to be looking at some longer range data. But firstly, I want to start off by looking at the strap data, because in a couple of days, around um, the 20, well, around the 30th of um, the November, I almost forgot what month we're in, we are about to see a sudden stratospheric warming technical. You can see the zero degree line is being met, or zero meters per second line is being met, so the zonal winds are flipping from east to west, they're going into reversal, um, so west to east. <laughs> Oh my word, I'm all over the place here. Uh, but you can see that they are very briefly going into reversal. Now, will that have any implications for the UK's weather in the long run? It's hard to say, but I would vouch towards no, because as you can see, um, with the estimated or the average line, which is this blue line, which is all of the ensembles in the ECM, you can see that it is beginning to strengthen quite rapidly. Uh, we have that brief um, warming, um, and then... It recovers very quickly, basically, uh, which means that it's very unlikely to have any impacts. And if there is any, it'll be very short lived around the second to third week of December. Now, as you can see, because there's a two week lag time now, as you can see, there is an, another spell opening up around Christmas, really, around the 20th, between about the 19th to the 25th of December and onwards, where you can see the runs again dipping that average line. This is the red line, it's the 30 year average, but you can see the blue line, which is the average of all the runs on the ECM ensembles, is dipping again. And there are quite a few going for a reversal, which is below this zero degree line. Not too many, but there are a few. Now that could have implications into January, but again, the devil's in the detail. So we're not going to look at that too much um, today, but I just want to briefly cover it to cover all bases. Moving on then to the ECMWF, I'm going to be looking at the six-week um, charts to see what they are showing. And this will take us even into the start of January, the, the 5th of January. So we've got the first week here, which is the first week of December. Feels weird saying that already. Winter, technically, I guess. It depends how you call it. Some people call it winter, some people call it autumn still. So there you go. Um, it depends on the meteorological term, but I'll just call it winter for preferences for this video. So we've got low pressure out to the west of the UK um, moving in. That's bringing the wind in from a southwesterly direction. High pressure is well to our east, um, so we're pretty mild there. You can see very unsettled, quite windy and quite mild. Central anomalies are above average. It's near and normal for Scotland uh, and parts of Ireland, but then for central southern England, above average. And um, precipitation, you can see it's turning much more unsettled and looking quite wet. Um, oopsie daisies, I <laughs> should probably delete the tab. Moving on to week two, which is the 8th to the 15th of December. Then again, very similar, low pressure out to the west of the UK, still moving in, winds in from a Atlantic-driven westerly direction. This was anticipated for the first week. Now, I did get my timings a bit wrong, I'll be honest, in my December forecast by the looks of it. But again, could be an, an opening into the third week, we'll see what this is showing. But um, again, low pressure out to the west of the UK, still moving in from off the Atlantic, it is quite mild. Two meter temperatures, above average for all, and precipitation anomalies are uh, well, still wetter than average for many of us. Moving on to the third week, which is the 15th to the 22nd of December, low pressure is still out to the west, and high pressure is out to the east, and south, well, east, yeah. Um, so that is a bit of a mystery chart, but it still looks quite unsettled. Maybe low pressure is beginning to dip southwards, so you might see more of a northwesterly tilt. Um, but it generally is still unsettled, to be honest. Um, you can see that is a very weird anomaly chart, but low pressure is slipping southwards potentially, but still looking quite unsettled in the south. Temperature anomalies with that low pressure dipping south may allow a bit more of a northwesterly tilt to the airflow, which is beginning to see the temperatures dropping towards average to slightly above. Precipitation anomalies, again, still looking relatively wet, but maybe the wettest conditions are being shifted further southwest. But that's just um, that's just predictions from that. So for the 22nd to the 29th of December, this might be a little bit more interesting, but again, we are a long way off, so uncertainty goes whoosh. <laughs> so we've got this white area could potentially be higher pressure, low pressure to the south. Winds might be in from an easterly, but that is very much um, guesswork there. Um, see what the 500 millibar height show. They are showing some some high pressure to the north. Low pressure still looks pushing through the UK though. 
so a bit westerly and then temperature anomalies are around just slightly above average and um, precipitation anomalies no signal but maybe slightly wetter uh, for many areas and then finally the 29th to the 5th of january the first week of january much of a muchness low pressure over and maybe to the south of the uk uh, with the 500 millilar heights also showing low pressure still pushing through the uk with some blocking to the north but that wouldn't really have any impacts on us Tem temperature anomalies are above well around to above average and precipitation anomalies are around well around, around average really or no signal drier to the north with that blocking area of high pressure so not great i've got to be honest not great there at all this might bring a bit of hope to coldies hopefully so firstly this is um from kyle mccritchie.com um i think that's how you say it <laughs> apologies if you are watching this video uh this is the arctic oscillation index if it's in a negative phase again if it's in a negative phase that um, indicates potential for blocking to develop if it's in a positive phase that considers a westerly flow is is favored however um, it has to work in unison with the NAO. If they work in unison, then it basically indicates that a pattern is more likely to happen than it's not. If they're against each other, it's not a great sign. But it's very interesting, this, because if you look, this is um, the predicted AO um, forecast from the model runs, um, updated from today. Um, well, you can see that the grey line, which is the average or the ensemble mean, is dipping to the negatives through december january and into february as well very negative actually remaining quite negative throughout the whole of the winter um and this could have implications definitely um if it were to be like this it needs support from the neo as well the north atlantic and the arctic that work together and if they're both negative then it does encourage blocking signals doesn't mean it's going to be cold but it does encourage blocking signals so as you can see uh between well from about the 7th of december onwards we are strongly negative with the average on these ensembles you can see we have been negative quite a bit throughout the year uh, but that's been positive interludes as well um especially through the autumn so you never know if we look at the neo however it is a lot more um well marginal i guess um if we look from around again the 7th of december you can see dropping that's why i said there might be an opening for a bit of a colder snap between the 15th and the 26th of december because you can see both going negative um could indicate something cold around the christmas period did i just say that <laughs> and then but you can see through january it does turn milder and it's still below average oh sorry um in a negative phase with the arctic doesn't really align well um possibly into february again going negative with both the ao and neo um in unison so maybe blocking patterns may develop again towards the end of the winter if this is correct again this is just a prediction it might change very quickly but um Definitely a bit of a positive phase favour through January, but through that middle part to latter half of December, they're both going negative, which is very encouraging for locking signs developing. Now, I did mention, want to mention that the MGO, the Madden Julian oscillation, is also going into a weak phase seven, which also indicates blocking patterns developing. And that period is between around the 15th and the 25th of December, is the part which is being focused on at the moment um, and will we'll continue to monitor. Um, it does look like the SSW will not be an impact of this. It's nothing to do with that. It's just a general pattern change. Um, as we're going to see, uh, maybe then patterns flip towards a westerly phase into the latter part of December. Um, so that would make things a little more uninteresting and probably quite mild, wet, windy and quite unsettled generally but yeah obviously it's all to kind of play for and um i'll keep you posted on everything but yeah there's a bit of a different video today i um, hope you all enjoyed it if you did consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel i do appreciate your continued support and i'll see you all in the next one bye everyone